Welcome back, Bookwords. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Outer space is out there for us to explore, and Milo is ready for takeoff. But he has to wait for his second in command, or his mom, before they can blast off and spend the time together. Mom's list of duties gets longer, and Milo helps, but will they find the time to see the most spectacular night skies? Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together. Milo's Moonlight Mission, written by Kathleen M. Blasi and illustrated by Petronella Dostolova, and see how Milo and his mom's mission ends. Takeoffs, blasts off, walks on the moon. For Milo and his crew, the sky is the limit. One day, Milo's second in command was late for duty. He found her in her office. Are you ready for launch? he asked. Second in command glanced at the clock. Sorry, Captain, but I need to finish my work first. Like a good captain, Milo offered to help. Together, they pondered, he painted, she wrote. Making stories takes time, a long time. The sun stretched shadows across the yard. We still have time to get back before dark, Mom, Milo suggested. Maybe, said Mom, but soon the crew here will be hungry. Milo sighed, then added, I'll help. Together, they mixed. He stirred, she chopped. Cooking takes time, a long time. Milo peered outside. His hope for a space mission faded with the setting sun. Supper chatter, cleanup clatter, the hum of TV news. And now for tonight's forecast, the announcer said. Milo turned. Rise before sunrise if you want to witness the spectacular Leonid meteor storm. Mom, did you hear that? Leonid meteor storm, Milo echoed, the most stunning in decades. Mom paused. Let's call it an early night and get ready for bed. Tomorrow, she said, I have an early meeting with a very important person. Already? Why? Mom snuggled beside Milo and read a story. She kissed him goodnight, set his alarm clock, and turned out the light. Who is Mom going to meet? Milo couldn't sleep. He blinked at the glowing stars on his ceiling. Pretend stars are good, Milo thought, but real ones are better. Maybe Mom could have time for her important meeting and a meteor storm. With Captain Milo's help! Milo filled the teapot, set the counter, and packed sandwiches. He climbed back into bed. Will second-in-command accept this new mission? He wished on a dimming ceiling star, then drifted to sleep. Ring! Milo bolted to Mom's room. He checked her office. Milo found Mom in the kitchen. You are a supremely helpful captain, she said, handing Milo his jacket and a blanket. Thanks to you, we are ready for a meteor mission. In the wee hours of morning, when dark says it's night, Mom and Milo fixed their eyes to the sky. Twinkling stars kindled the vast, black blanket above. They waited, and then... Ah! 
An invisible paintbrush swept the sky as one after another burst of light sailed through the darkness. Like fireworks, whispered Milo. But no bangs, no booms, no sizzles, not a sound. Mom, said Milo, how long can we stay out here so you're not late for your meeting? Mom drew him closer. That meeting already started, Captain, and I made it just in time. Stargazing takes time, a good long time. Together, Milo and Mom watch the sky blink and blaze, then dim with haze until the fiery horizon lulled the last star to sleep. Mission accomplished. You can learn more about comets and meteors in the back of the book, so be sure to check it out at your local library or buy a copy for yourself from your favorite bookstore. If you enjoyed this read aloud video, please give it a thumbs up and become an official bookworm and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy the magic of reading.